Barton FM, following Barton Town. Sport on Barton FM is sponsored by Easy Buy. Welcome to Swans Talk with me, Richard Watts. We now join Trevor Richens, who's talking to Nathan Jarman. Right, another another Thursday night down at Baysgarth School. Yeah, uh, and we're back, Nathan. This is Nathan Jarman, the manager. Hi, Trev. Hi. Um, so, first two league games under our under our belts: Washington five three. Yeah. Which must have been very good news. Very good news. Yeah, good team. Um, it's always nice to win, isn't it? You, I don't want to, you know, ever get sick of winning or fed up of. Uh, three points and I, I never will so however which way they come whether it's 5-3 goals galore and no clean sheets in sight or 1-0 last minute pen from Norfolk I'll, I'll take either to get three points Right so yes we had Thackley on Tuesday Yep um, at home our first home game how was that how did that pan out in comparison mm. with what you're expecting obviously we play we play Thackley before and Washington we haven't really faced before in the league Yeah we we uh, we we played Rosington last pre-season. Um, I don't know if it was was it last pre-season. I can't remember. Um, beat them two one. It might have been the first year we was here, um, and beat them. Uh, we know they were good. And we know they try and play, and and they tried. But I think the wind nullified anyone's play really uh, against Rosington. Uh, Tuesday, I was pleased with uh, most parts. Pleased with. Um, I said to him, we didn't really threaten the goalkeeper um, as much as we should have. First half especially, um, and that's what I said to him at half time. We, you know, we need to really test him and start getting in the box. And um, second half we did. We got a few more corners and we had more possession. We was pretty, pretty much dominant in possession second half. Um, and we couldn't quite get the breakthrough. There's a, there was a goal that was given offside um, when uh, Sam's headed it. Fraser's behind him, but then Fraser's gone past Sam put it back across for Harrison and it's given offside. Um, they, they had a goal disallowed though for offside as well, um, which, I mean, I've looked at the video, it's, it's hard to tell, but it does look like it goes a little bit early um, off the stills and stuff. So it might have been the right call for offside, but it was a tight game um, and I'm always happy to come out on top in, in any game, let alone tight games. Right, uh, and the, which I think we discussed on Tuesday, the handball of the keeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I... Uh, I've stopped that as well and watched that, and it's um, his whole body's out of it, um, out of the box, and it's very, 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 very close. Yeah. I think if the linesman's in line with it, he'd probably say it's out. Right. If the referee was closer, he'd probably say it's out. I mean, yeah. from the stills I've got, it's ridiculous. It looks like he's out. Yeah. He's stood out. So um, he he stood out, but the the ball looks like it's possibly. I in. mean, so yeah. I don't know how the ball stand on that. I, I think as long as the ball stays in, you're okay. Right. But it, it would take a very rose-tinted spectacle wearing Thackley fan to say that it's not out the area. I think. Right. Okay. So. Uh, now Saturday, given to Bower, mm-hmm. FA Cup, extra preliminary round. We've not done terribly well in the last couple of seasons. No. At this level. No. Um, it's been a couple of years since we last progressed to our next level. Yeah. Um, and obviously we played them a few weeks ago pre-season. Uh, and as we discussed, have we picked them here? You think we're looking for things in particular from that game that will help us on Saturday? Um, I. I don't. I, I think they'll line up the same way, um, and, and obviously we play how we play. Um, but in terms of team selection, we'll have a few changes um, from the last time we played them, and I'm pretty sure they'll have a few more players back and a few changes too. Um, so you might we might not be able to gauge the teams, um, but it will be fast and frenetic and um, feisty. It, it's going to be. I know it is. Um, and as long as we can keep our heads and play to the levels I know we're capable of, um, we've got a real good chance. I'm not saying it's not going to be tough because it, it is going to be tough. They're, they're a good team and they went on a, a really good run last season. Um, I don't know if they ended up just outside the playoffs, but they were they were good. I don't know if they finished 8th or 9th in the league above, but they are, um, they are a good team uh, with a good manager and they've got some real good lads there, so it's going to be a tough game. And that's assuming, of course, the pitch is up to it. Cause Didn't want to mention that because at the start of August. It's a bit damp down there today. It's very damp. Yeah, we've been on it spongy. Yeah. Um, so we've got rain predicted and it's, there's a few clouds about. It's rain predicted overnight tonight and tomorrow. Um, so is that a concern? 
<laughs> it's always <laughs> a concern, Trev. Um, I was, um, I know I've told you, I was at the ground on Tuesday um, doing the summer camp and, and we took the covers off with the pools of water underneath and me, Pete uh, and Paul uh, Roberts were, were sweeping the uh, the water off the pitch, forking the pitch, trying to get it drained off those two, you know, uh -huh. Poor areas, um, and we and that's what was it the first of August? I think yeah. it was the first of August. Yeah. Um, so it, it's obviously not great. Um, it is a it is a concern, but planning permission's in place. But there's nothing they can do now. They've got the planning permission. They've got the funding in place. But we've got to wait until this the end of this season. Wait, yeah, because now yeah they, they can't dig it up and do it. But once they have, it'll be. Um, It'll get back to being a carpet and and how we like it and and when it is playable it's it's really nice and the other night it was still nice with a bit of dew on it uh, even though it hadn't been cut and it was long in places we still zipped it about nicely on there and probably from the sideline you won't be able to tell um, it's when you get on it like I went on after the game and I was like oh my god it's it's not brilliant so um, but we you know we cope well and Grimsby Borough will definitely be able to cope well on it they move the ball um, as well as we do definitely so. Their movement's good and yeah, they can move it. So the pitch, if it's dry enough, it won't be an issue. If you know, if it's boggy, it's going to be, it's going to be touch and go. And I think we discussed again. She's their new players. They fitted in quite well. Ours. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've had Clark Greaves. Yeah. Jack Cross. Cross here. And Danny Chapman. Who's, Dan Chapman. I would yeah. say a bit more of an unknown because he's moved into the area. Haven't yeah, he? he's moved. He's moved from up. Up north, he's a he's a Middlesbrough lad. He's a right. smoggy, um, because I'm not allowed to call him a Geordie because he okay. don't like it. Um, right. So yeah, he's um, he's moved down to the area. He's uh, he's got a girlfriend who who lives in Barton, um, and he, he's been good. He he adds experience and a, a bit of bite in there. Um, he's not he's not um, averse to the odd scrap. <laughs> Should we say? I want to nice. be nice. Okay. He's um, he, He's a, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yep. He's a, a fiery character. Forceful. Yeah, forceful. Okay. He, he don't mind a tackle. You won't see him shirk any. Okay. Um, and we've got Henry like that as well, who's who hasn't seen pull out of a tackle. Um, and then we've got Harrison. Uh, we've got Kingy, who are a little bit more flair based. I would say more more okay. footballers. But I'm not saying Dan and Henry can't play because they both got on the ball on Tuesday and both tried playing the right way. It's just they had a little bit more steel and bite for, for Kingy to push forward. Okay. And are you looking to play again this season? Or have you um, taken a step I, back? Yeah, I I won't I, I mean I won't think I'd be involved. We've we've got a big squad for a reason. Um and speaking to the to the chairman at the end of last season, um while he, he don't mind us being involved and he's he, you know he's is sure we're effective a bit like Norfi on Tuesday yeah. um, he would prefer us to have um, carry a bigger squad so if you know so yeah. we, we can cope with the injuries and we don't have to be having three on the bench and it's me Norfi and Alyssa or whatever so okay. um, yeah I, I'll I won't ever say that I've that I've stopped or if we needed it like I'll be training tonight um, and I'll be I'll be good for if if I'm ever needed for 10 15 minutes. Okay. Um, but yeah, you won't you won't see me. Um, I'm pretty sure for a while yet because we've okay. got a fair you know a fair, fairly big squad. Okay. Well, I shall let you go off on the training. Cheers, and Trevor. We we'll hope the weather's okay for Saturday. Thank you. Yeah, I Cheers. hope so too, mate. Cheers. For the latest Barton Town news and information, visit the club's website at www.bartontownfc.co.uk. Here's Aaron Irwin talking to Danny North after the win at Rossington, Maine. So uh, I don't know how you can uh, summarise that game for us, bit of a goal fest. Yeah, um, proper game of two halves really. Um, even even when we went 1-0 down in the first half, I thought we were the better team. We had a couple of sniffs and then it's from our own doing really, the goal. It's not like they carved us open or anything. Um, but then the reaction of the lads was fantastic and you go in 3-1 at half time. Half we came out, we knew they'd um, they'd come out us a bit, but we, we, we sort of let them as well. It's, I know it, it, always, it always happens where they'll have a bit of a spell or whatever, but we just couldn't get to grips with them, um, which was a bit disappointing. Obviously, we let them back in, and at three all, you think they take a point away from home, but obviously, Tom Orb has stepped up and uh, won us the game. It's alright, they're having a, a you know, a wicky 
you as a winger by trade, you know, banging the net tricks. Yeah, like, yeah, you look over the last two seasons, his goals record speaks for itself. He's, he's, um, there's, there's no, like, there's no words that can describe it, really. He's, he's, he comes up with the goods time and time again. Like, he's, he, uh, he's been away the last, the last week when he drove from, like, the Lake District this morning. Comes, couldn't hit a barn door in the warm up and then gets that trick. So, they say you can't, you can't um, put into words like how, how good he is for, for us and the club. We've just got two penalties in a row now. Yeah. Has the um, corner been turned? Oh, well, let's hope. Eh? We'll, we'll keep that quiet. But yeah, the, um, Harrison was on pens and I brought him off. Um, and a minute later, we get a pen. I was a bit, oh, but nah, Tom stepped up. Like I say, the quality has got the confidence. And uh, yeah, we scored another one. So, hopefully, uh, if we keep getting him there. Uh, Carry on scoring. And what was going through your head when the, their third goal went in? Was it pure a lot of frustration? Um, and you think, right, do we do we take a point here away from home? Obviously, these have come up, but they've got a strong squad. I, I genuinely think they'll be they'll be up there this year as well. Um, so I think before the game, as much as you want to win, you don't want to lose. And, and that was in my head um, when they when they equalised. I thought, right, if we if we take a point, as disappointing as it is from a from a good winning position. You haven't lost first game and you can sort of move on, but, um, but no, the, lads, the lads answered it fantastically. Does winning the first game matter in the long run? You know, there's another 37 games left to go, but um, does it set you up for the rest of it? Yeah, of course it does. Um, this is the first one we've won um, since, since myself and Jamo have been in. Um, we lost the first year, I think we drew the, did we draw the second year. Last season we drew. Yeah, we drew, yeah. Yeah, nil-nil against Albion, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we should have won that, but, but no. It, 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 people will look at this result and see you know, Barton Town 5-3 away at Rossington what a start and uh, that's how we've got to look at it um, but Tuesday night you, you lose that and it's, it's the hard work's undone to an extent that's the fact they won today as well so they're yeah. in the same boat as us we'll be looking to push on yeah I think I think they um, I think they'll be a decent decent setup this year but at home against anyone in this league I think uh, we fancy ourselves as favourites at home against anyone um, certain places you go away where you think oh, we just don't lose like don't get me wrong we'll always go to win but, but no um, it's a strong start from us um, and hopefully we can we can kick on on Tuesday and let's say we go in and we think we're favourites and uh, fingers crossed we can put on a performance like we did in the first half and late on in the second half today There's a few lads missing today was that just Injuries or unavailability? Or unavailability. So obviously Charlie Dixon got married to so Tom Davy was at the wedding. I think Josh Lace is working. Uh, Scott was away. Um, I think it's going to be like that now between now and I think the end of August. There's going to be one or two here and there. Um, obviously school holidays and if people have got teachers or jobs and whatever. It's, it's just one of them things at this level. Um, but we'd like to think this year we've got we've got a bigger squad that we can cope with it better. Whereas. It's been it's been hard um, like the last year or whatever. At least now we've got we've got like KD with us, we've got Matt with us, Kean's in with us, and they they have a massive part of the squad as well. And um, you'll see through the year they'll all play a big part. You didn't fancy naming yourself on the bench today? No, um, I will be on Tuesday. I can tell you that. Um, but the fact that obviously Jamo banned Sid obviously unwell. I was left on my own, so I didn't. I didn't think it would be right. Um, as much as I wanted to, um, I didn't think it would be right because I needed to be on the side and, and have it look at it from that perspective, really. Um, so obviously, I want needed, which was good. <laughs> but now um, I should be on the bench on Tuesday. Get a taste for it, don't you? Right, nice one, cheers, Aaron. Thanks, mate. For the latest Barton Town news and information, visit the club's website at www.bartontownfc.co.uk. I'm joined by Aaron Walton and we've got um, two games to look back on. First two matches of the season and two wins. Unheard of territory. Very much so, beginning of the season. I think I've been with uh, following Barton now for the last five or six years and I don't think I've ever seen us win a, win a game at the beginning of the season. I think the draws and everything we've got, but we went uh, on that uh, journey to Rossington or Rosso as it's... Uh, Affectionately known, the Oxford Street, and uh, what a good game of football it was, Richard. It was, yeah, very good performance. And, I uh, thought uh, you've got your new lads, haven't you? You've got, uh, I like the look of Clark Greaves, lots yeah. of energy, uh, strong. Uh, <clears throat> he's rather like a bodybuilding version of uh, Grant Tate, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So lots of energy. Uh, I like the look of Danny Chapman as well. He looks uh, like he can uh, put his foot on the ball, get a tackle in, have a look up. He looks uh, very good. Um, and Jack Cross, well, Jack's only come on a couple of times as a substitute, but uh, he's from Bottisford, so he certainly knows how to uh, how to scrap and uh, play for points and what have you. And uh, yeah. if if he turns anything uh, anything out like uh, Henry Cook, we've got a good player there, haven't we? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so they're the three new lads, uh, and obviously we've got uh, we've got the lads coming up from from the reserve. We've got Katie Phillips back, haven't we? We've got uh, uh, Matty Clayton, Kean Saltberg. Kean really isn't there. He, Kean's been there a while now, hasn't he? Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, so they're they're fitting in nicely. Uh, let's let's have a look at the game then against Rossington. It was a bit the first goal Rossington scored. I thought. I felt a little bit for Ryan Musselwhite because he called for it and it was just a, a mis-screwed header straight back out, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it and was. Then, and then played, played across and then, uh, was it Buck and he looked, he looked quite useful all the game, wasn't he? They're, 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 they're like a yeah. uh, Buck and a, a, a nice finish, nice finish. Yes. Yeah, put it in well, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, and then it was the Tom Wardby show. Yeah, superb. Want it? Yeah, a usual Will Wardby crossfield ball to Tom Wardby gets it, gets it under control, runs in, cuts in, bottom corner. Keeper maybe should have done a little bit better, but uh, one one. Yeah, and uh, then it couldn't have placed it any it. better. It was right in the corner, wasn't it? You just uh... yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely. We had a few chances, didn't we? Before, I mean, Sam Cable was a little bit unlucky. He was on scraps, but uh, he was a willing runner, wasn't he? Into the mm. corners and ch- chasing balls down. I thought Sam played, but if Sam runs himself to the to the ground anyway, yeah, uh, comes off absolutely shattered or injured. So one of the two, and then the second goal, Richard. You'll have to remind me. I can't remember. If it was Kingy or uh, Harrison Coley? I think it was Kingy once. That it? was Lee. yeah. That was uh, King, wasn't it? A good save by the goalkeeper that came out and he smacked it in. He, he finished it off. And was that his first goal for Barton? It was apparently, yeah, surprising, yeah. yeah. It is surprising, yeah. Um, so that was a good finish. It was, and then then the third goal went in was uh, Arison Coley trademark goal gets in be- between the defender and the keeper. Still got a lot to do and slots it in the bottom corner. Lovely finish. It was. It was excellent. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Arison's probably got some of the best feet in the in the uh, in the league. Ah, uh, you, you know he can move his feet quick and get the ball between him quick, uh, and and move it on. I think he's he's really coming on as a player. He's taking him a little bit of time to develop, gets a bit stronger, gets his confidence going. But I think he's a he used to drift in and out of games, didn't he, Harrison? He sometimes used to think, is he still on the pitch? But now it's contributing all the, all time. the time. Yeah, yeah. So he's just taking time to develop, and I think Nathan stuck with him, and Nathan and Danny have stuck with him, and and he's play. It, 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 the well. He's doing really well now, so it, that just showed you patience is a virtue. And yeah, it's, it's uh, also it's a, very rare when he has a shot. It's very rare that it's off target. Absolutely, yeah, he yeah. Miss always, the target. He doesn't always on always on cue. When he's come up with last season, he come up with some incredibly vital goals at vital times. I mean, Albion yeah. Sport away, who could we forget that? That was brilliant. So yeah, yeah, he does come up then. So that was three one at half time. Always a funny score, isn't it? At half time, you think, "Ooh, I, I wouldn't want it half time. I would have carried on, you know, finish mm. ten minutes early, finish ten yeah. minutes early instead of yeah. play right through, job and knock." <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, they came out second half, and you knew they were going to come out. Ross Hanna came on. He, he was carrying a little bit of an injury, if we, if you noticed, he, he was all taped up at the back of his hamstring, so taped up a little bit, and then. <clears throat> I thought a couple, a couple of goals. I mean, they they got a penalty, didn't they? We thought it was a bit dubious, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. Because it's one of them. If people haven't haven't seen the the, the highlights, I suggest you do. Um, I can't remember who it was. who was in defence, but he was trying to kick the ball out, uh, clear it, and a player come from behind him, and he's caught the player, hasn't he? Yeah. But he did get the ball first, didn't he? He cleared the he did. He'd get connection with the ball, and then the players mm. come in and uh, yeah, made contact with him. I mean, yeah, so 
It's not. What do you? What, what do you, do you, with... you can't when you're making a clearance. You can't stop part way through and then let them have it. Especially if you're getting the ball. I could have. I could understand it if he hasn't got the ball. Mm. And he's 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 had a he's had a whack and caught the player without getting the ball. But once you get the ball, that should rule out any. Yeah. Chance of a penalty, so. in my view. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I mean. We got we got one ourselves, but we'll come back to that later. So that's three two, and then it's all to play for. Their tails are up, and they're playing well. They they are a good team, Richard, aren't they? I mean, they had, yeah. They had one, uh, I mean, talking to the, their locals, they had one or two missing. Uh, I think they had a centre half missing. Obviously, Ross come on second half. Um, I think Tyler Bell must be injured as well because he's he's a pretty good lad. Um, so three two, tails are up, and then, well, I'm sorry, but. Ball comes through to Ross Anna. He puts it in his pocket and ball puts it in his pocket and scores. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. It has it. Yeah. <clears throat> Referee said, "Oh no, he uh, ball to hand or whatever they, they they say, didn't he? Didn't even go over to his linesman who had a better view. I don't yeah. think. I don't think the ref had a. To be fair to the ref, I don't think he had a particularly good view of it. But mm -hmm. he's basically just decided no, it's a goal. I'm still adamant that it's handball." He's yeah, good. without He's... a doubt. Ball to hand, but he picked it up and ran along with it and then dropped it down and finished it. Yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know it's, it's tongue in cheek and slightly exaggerating, but it was, it was. It, it, it slowed, didn't it? Without it a doubt. But, so, 3-3. Three, three. Oh, dear me. Long faces at Barton. The Barton faithful. Very disappointed. Back to well, three, then you, three. Then you're happy with a point, aren't you, when it goes like that and we're sort of hanging on a bit. Danny North said that, didn't he, in his... Uh, uh, post match interview would be happy with the point, but uh, yeah. then it's the then it's the Tom Wardby show. We get a little bit of luck. We, we get a penalty, and I think one or two of the wags in the crowd were saying, "Oh, he's evened it up." The refs evened it up. Mm. Uh, but on our footage, there was a push yeah. on Fraser Paparel, wasn't there? Was. You could see there was yeah. a, a clear push. You couldn't see it. We we couldn't see it. Well, I couldn't see it. I don't know about you. Yeah. Rich. I couldn't see it when we were commentating. I thought, "Oh, mm. he's evened that up." That's a bit of a soft one, but there was a push. Mm. We get a penalty, then it's worry time, isn't it? It's yeah. sticky bum time, squeaky bum time for Barton Town because we can't, we can't seem to finish penalties. Up steps Tom Wardby. Why is Tom taking them? Because Harrison's gone off. Yeah, a minute before. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Tom comes up, puts the keeper the wrong way. We're back in the lead. So yeah. again, topsy turvy. Rossington are attacking. We're attacking. We're holding on again a little bit. Ryan Musselwhite comes out with one or two tidy saves. Um, and then, again, comes out Will Wardby, tight on the wing. Another lovely ball up to Tom Wardby. He's got his back to goal, turns, has a little look up. His defender's tight to him, has a little look up, keeper uh, off his line, chips him. Meant. Yeah. Five through. What a yeah. good finish. What a it good was. finish. I don't I think, think the highlight. I don't think the highlights, Richard, really emphasise how good that finish was. That's right. Yeah, and I, th right. I think we've seen the goal of the season on the opening day. It takes well, something really yeah. special to beat that. It would. It would. I think the only person who's going to beat that is Grant Tate at Beverly. Because <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't score tappings, does he, Grant? So yeah, go, um, yeah. so that that's five three. Really chuffed. First time we've won. Uh, Danny North uh, was uh, taking over managerial duties because uh, Nathan was just finishing his last suspension, last game of suspension. So well done, Northy. I think his uh, his win his win ratio is quite good. Yeah. So uh, so that's three points on the board. Brilliant. We thought we'd be at the top, but Campion wins somebody three 0 so they go to the top. We're going to Tuesday night. Yeah. Which I Backley. thought. Yeah, with without Tom Warby as well, and he's always the. I think if there's one player in the team you can't replace, it's Tom Warby. He's that type of player, isn't he? He's a winger, yeah. but he's like a centre forward as well. He's so dangerous. Yeah. Nobody can nobody can head a ball like Tom. Get up and head a ball. Uh, I sometimes think when Will's playing on his own, he's struggling. He's struggling sometimes because that ball to Tom, it's almost telepathic. It is. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? It's you know, you know he's going to do that diagonal ball to Tom Warby, and Tom will bring it down, and off he goes. And and you know, a lot of credit goes to Will as well. Mm, mm. So so we're starting without Will, uh, Tom Warby, without Tom Warby. In comes Scott Matthews. He'd been to a wedding. 
not Charlie Dixon's, he tells me. Right. And in comes in comes Tom Davy on the bench. Yeah. And so Thackley, you don't really want to be playing historically, you don't want to be playing Thackley early doors because they're always pretty good. When when uh, Barton tend to when Barton tend to play, we're playing them in November, December, and then towards the end of the season when they're sort of mid table and they're safe, so they mm -hmm. don't seem to have that energy and uh uh what whatever about them, do they? But they, they really I thought Thackley were a really good team. Yeah, the best I mean best Thackley team I've seen since I started watching. Yeah, without definitely. A, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, definitely. And they've got yeah. they've got one or two they've got one or two new ones. And they had uh, they had a bit of a goalkeeper crisis. I was talking to uh, uh, one of the one of their officials uh, before the start, and they said a bit of a goalie crisis. So Aggie Damba come back in, and we know Aggie from uh, Silsden, don't we, Rich? Yeah, yeah. A bit, a good, only a young lad, only about twenty twenty one. Good keeper, good solid keeper. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah, played but again, played very well, uh, especially second half, two or three really cracking saves. Mm. Um, but it was end to end stuff, wasn't it, Rich? It was, yeah. Could have gone either way. Yeah. 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 Nil nil at half time. We lost uh, Nathan Otty, our captain, early on. He was uh, running back to defend, and uh, I think a fetlock went. So he, I don't know if he's out or not, but he, he, he pulled up. So on comes it, Tom Davey. It, it sort of like looks a long term. It, it sort of looked a long term on Nathan Hotties, didn't it? Look, one of those that yeah. you think that could be a while. It could be. I hope not. Fingers crossed, because we need yeah. him sadly. Yeah. Um, but um, on comes Tom Davy. Yeah. And uh, well, he's going to hate me for saying this, but he had a good game. He did well. Yeah. He did really well. No mistakes. Yeah. No. No. He did get a booking, unfortunately, but he prides himself on getting the booking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, nil nil at half time. You could think, yeah, even Stephen. Second half again. Both teams. I thought Barton, and I've not got my Barton glasses on here. I thought, you know, if Thackley fans were honest, I thought Barton had slightly the better second half. Yeah. They seemed to have the more sort of clear cut chances, although Thackley was still dangerous. The way, and yeah. and, and uh, Ryan Musselwhite had to pull a couple of good saves off, uh, didn't he? Yeah. So I still have sometimes have kittens about Ryan because he doesn't come off his line too much, but. I'll be honest with you, he's had two decent games. Yeah, he has. yeah. He's played, yeah. played all right, played well, plays on yeah. confidence, and his confidence should be sky high. Yeah. So we're getting we're getting into the last twitchings, aren't we? We are. Of the, yeah. of the game, we're thinking nil nil. Well, I suppose we'd be happy with nil nil because you know Thackley have played well, but you want the win. Danny North comes on, starts causing a little bit of uh, consternation in the Thackley box. Gets the ball, takes it, runs in, takes it around the player. Contact with the player goes down. Referee has a real good think about it. Mm -hmm. He's on target. He, he, the ref's there to look. He gives a penalty. Yeah. Um, heartbreaking for Thackley because they've played well. Uh, up steps. Who, up ste who stepped up to take it? Danny North, didn't he? Yeah. Think? He got it straight away, it. didn't he? Because Harrison Cody yeah. was still on the pitch, wasn't he? And he was... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, Uncle Danny texts it, texts it off uh, his nephew. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm having it. So he comes up, takes it, rolls back the ears, bottom call, Aggie Damba, not too far away from it, but um, one nil. And you got to feel, you got to feel for Thackley. I mean, when when the final whistle went, they were all out on the feet, weren't they? They were just absolutely yeah. gutted. Yeah. Um, I know the feeling. We had that feeling at Penniston last season, didn't we? When we had a threadbare team out, exactly. they, played yeah. they played absolutely brilliant, only to be beaten in the, probably the eighty seventh minute or something like that. So yeah. It, yeah. it happened. Thackley will do that to that. Thackley will do that to somebody else. Uh, but it's six points for Barton. Yeah, really good. And we haven't seen Josh Lacey yet, even. No, not no Josh Lacey yet. And as I say, uh, Tom Tom Warby was on holiday. Special yeah. mention does go to Tom, though, doesn't it? Because if the listeners d didn't realise that Tom was on holiday on Saturday, he came all the way down to Rossington from the Lake District to play. Yeah. And then went straight back up after the game. So uh, nobody should ever doubt that man's commitment to the club. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah. So, so it's on to... <laughs> 
on to Saturday, Richard. Yes. F the FA Cup extra preliminary round. Yeah. And who do we have? Grimsby Borough, isn't it? It's their first competitive game of the season, isn't it? It is. The Wilderness Boys. And I noticed uh, <clears throat> one or two uh, Grimsby Borough heads in the crowd on Tuesday night. I saw the media man, Rob Dawley. I saw him there. <laughs> one, of, one of the best media mans out there is Rob. Brilliant. Uh, I saw Rob there. I saw uh, Kenny and Harold, uh, the the two guys that do a lot behind the scenes. They were there. Um so just obviously watching, see how we are. I think the word we will probably have to use is feisty. Mm, yeah, because it was it was a feisty, friendly in uh, open stroke close brackets question mark. Certainly no friendly when we played them a few weeks ago, was it? I wasn't there, but I you wasn't it. there, Richard. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Well, let let me tell you, as uh, somebody once said, let me <laughs> tell you, it was feisty. <laughs> Somebody got sent off. We won't say who it was, but it's the usual person that he's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> it got sent off for saying for saying something, I think. I think it was all all a bit playgroundish schoolboys. I thought the ref could have handled it slightly better. Um but there was plenty of bookings, plenty of hard tackles going in, plenty of tasty tackles going in. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would have I'd have a few pounds on Certainly not, uh, not uh, twenty-two players on the pitch at full time. If it <laughs> for that for that game, it really will be. We never seem to have any luck against Grimsby Borough. They always they're one of our bogey teams. Yeah, I think every time I've seen us play them, we've got beat. I think I don't think I've ever we've seen an... get anything from them. We've had some we've had some thumpings off them: six nils, five nils, three nils, and even when we're playing well. Um, I think we played him a couple of seasons ago. Uh, we lost three one. Liam Higton, their keeper, absolutely played out of this world. Mm. So do you know what I mean? Every time, every time we we seem to play well, their keepers play well. So, um, but the only thing, the only thing, two things I'm sort of that makes me think, oh, we might have a chance is one we've we've had two competitive matches. Two, we actually drew with them at their place, even though they should have been out of sight. Right. First half, first half, they missed chance after chance after chance. They were one nil up. Uh, Muzzy, three or four really good one on one saves, where it's no right to save them, but he did. And then uh, second half, they come out, they still couldn't hit, uh, couldn't hit a barn door with a banjo. Yeah, uh, but then we have a quick free kick and we score one one. So mm -hmm. that gives me a little bit of hope. And I think we're playing well, so yeah, that, yeah that's without a doubt. Job. And and we need a we, we, I know we all like a good cup run, don't we? So be nice to. And the tie, the juicy thing is, if everything, well, it does. If Grimsby win, if we win, and hopefully it's we play the winners between Winterton Rangers and Melton Town. So that would, if we if we could win. And win it and win, that set up a lovely tie. Another local derby, the real old El Clasico, the Lincolnshire Porches derby, that, if all goes well. Yeah, it would be good, that. Let's hope it happens. Yeah, get the, get the, get a good crowd down, four or five hundred, that would be great. Yeah. So so that's that's most things covered. Uh, the new players we've got, Richard, if we quickly go over them, we've mentioned them just in passing. We've got... Uh, Clark Greaves, he's come from Staveley, a young yeah, lad. He looks, he look, I mean, he looks really good. I mean, him, they were a good right hand side with him and uh, Tom Warby. Yeah, Tuesday night, I thought he was exceptional. Yeah. You know, it was a really, really good competitive game, backwards and forwards. And he yeah. was still really. Still running like a Trojan at ninety minutes. So yeah, uh, I think one he got, he'd lost the ball and he'd come back and got it back. So real good. I think Clark's a real good, and he's a young lad as well. So we've got Clark from Staveley. We've got uh, Jack Cross. Jack's come from Bottisford. Um, as I say, if Jack's, I've not really seen Jack too much, <laughs> but uh, if he's uh, if he's like Henry Cook, we've got a good player. He looks lively each time he's come on, and he looks good in the air. I think when he's come on, he's only a smallish fella, isn't he? Yeah, he gets gets up. He's got a good Tom spin on it, yeah. leaps. 
Yeah, he's got a good spring. I'd like to see a little bit more of Jack, but that's up to the management. Uh, but he certainly looks good when he comes on. Yeah. And then we've got we've got Danny Chapman. Now Danny Chapman's <clears throat> come to Barton. Previous clubs. Now you know you know the clubs he's played for, don't you, Richard? Yeah, some good clubs in the north. He's been at Billingham, hasn't he? And uh, it various Stockton? others. Stockton. So all yeah. good strong league, the Northern League. Yeah. Top and he looks good. He looks good, doesn't he? He looks good. He look he, he looks one of these sort of yeah. unfussy players who does does you don't really notice him. He just don't, does the tidying up job, keeps things ticking over. Yeah, I think he plays. Uh, he play, He compliments uh, Craig King, doesn't say when they're playing together. I yeah, think. I, went, I was going to say we haven't really mentioned Craig King, but I think he's just been outstanding in these first two matches. He's so much time on the ball. Yeah. He's it, it, just so good, and he does all the all the hard work, and he's all about. But I think everybody to a man, these first two games has has played really well. I don't think anybody who's had it. Yeah. But no, nobody plays badly on purpose. Uh, but I think everybody's really bought into bought into this season and played well. So because I was a bit, I was a bit thinking, mm, I'm not sure about this season. I really don't know because. Pre-season, we've not really played anybody who I would say will be massively competitive. It's just mm. just to run out for the lads, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I saw it was against Kroll, and I thought Kroll was far better than his first half. Second half, we woke up and beat him 3-2. Uh, I thought we was good against Lincoln, Lincoln United. We beat them 4-3, first game. I thought we were good there, but... Really, and I, Grimsby Borough, Grimsby should have been well out of sight. But if you ain't putting them in, that's the thing, isn't it? If they're not, yeah. if they're not taking the chances. You've always got, you always got to go up the other end and score. So it, it's looking good. And there's teams in the league that don't seem to have had a good start. Mm. Gar, Garforth, they've not had a good start. Yeah, that's course, right. Yeah, of course, Charlie Marshall. They're they're probably their best player. He's uh, gone to Scarborough. Oh, is he at Scarborough? Yeah. yeah, he's gone to Scarborough, so that's a good... Uh, I'm pleased with Charlie. He's He's gone up a couple of leagues, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, it's a good move, that, uh, yeah. It's a very good move. Uh, yeah. Camp, Campion are a little bit of an unknown. They've never played 2-1-2, two and, one, two, and they seem to be scoring goals for fun. Um, so I'm not sure about Campion. Uh, a bit of an unknown. I saw him against Ferriby last season. I didn't, they just... Didn't turn up for uh, Winterton, sorry. Winterton rolled them over in the cup. So, right. probably probably concentrating on wanting to go up. So, I think it'd be the usual boys, the usual teams up at the top. Your Emleys, your Penistons, your Garforths, your Bartons. And then, Alan, I would think, will probably be yeah, there from the coming, start yeah. this year, won't they, I would think? Yeah, I was, I was coming to Hallam, yeah, with uh, uh, Dents in charge. You've always got, you're always going to be up there, so... I think it's going to be the the same five or six teams with probably a another who's because uh, I think it's about time Albion started to uh, sort of pick up a bit. They've got no, they've, they've got started the, well, haven't they? Two wins. Yeah, they've got the well, they've got um, they've got the the old Yorkshire Amateurs management team, um, uh, Craig Oglesby, and I'm I'm so disappointed I can't remember the guy's name who was the manager. But they they are they are the track record's good. Yeah. Um they, they look really good. Uh well management team, so I'm presuming Albion might stay up there. I like Albion Sport, uh, we yeah. have done. So uh they could possibly actually be up there. And they've changed grounds of course out there. They're at Bradford Park Avenue now, so be no, a, another at Bradford Park Avenue. Yeah, yeah. That, another, another new ground to go to. It's possibly easier to get to than Farsley's ground, Richard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so all in all, really good start from the from the Swans. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a good crowd down there on Saturday if the rain doesn't uh, put pay to it. But we've had a good. Day of sunshine today. It's been very warm. If we can have another warm day or dry day tomorrow and Saturday morning, looks like it'll be on for a cracker. Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope for a bit of progress in the FA Cup. Oh, definitely. It'd be nice to get one over on Grimsby Borough. We owe we owe you one. I certainly do. So, 
So, well, that sort of wraps it up for our first uh, Swans review of the season, Richard. Yeah, let's hope they all uh, we we'll keep having a couple of wins every review. That'll do very nicely. It would be, it would be. But football's a funny old game, as somebody once said. It certainly is. OK. Well, everybody, hopefully we'll see the Swans faithful on Saturday afternoon. For the latest Barton Town news and information, visit the club's website at www.bartontownfc.co.uk. Saturday's FA Cup day. Looking at Barton's FA Cup record and starting when they were played under the name of Barton Town. 2008-9 in the extra preliminary round, they lost 3-1 at home to Winston Rangers. And 2009-10, extra preliminary round, 2-2 draw at Gelding Town and then a 2-1 win in the replay at home. Then in the preliminary round, Kirby Muxlow at home won 6-3, and then the first qualifying round lost at Barden Hill Sports 5-0. 2010-11, extra preliminary round, 1-1 draw at Long Eaton United, and then won the replay 1-0 at home. And then in the preliminary round, lost 4-1 at home to Shirebrook Town. We'll be on to 2011-12, 2 2-2 draw at home to Bridlington Town, then Barton won the replay 3-2. In the preliminary round they then drew 2-2 at Scarborough Athletic but then lost the replay at home 1-0. Moving to 2012-13, in the extra preliminary round, 2-0 home win against Barnelswick Town. In the preliminary round, 2-1 home defeat against Camel Laird. 2013-14 in the extra preliminary round. 2-1 home win against Nostal Miners Welfare. And then in the preliminary round, lost 4-1 at Bootle. 2014-15 in the extra preliminary round. A 7-0 home win against Abbey Hay. But then in the preliminary round, a 4-1 defeat at Warrington Town. 2015-16, extra preliminary round. 2-2 home draw against uh, Squires Gate. They then won the replay at Squires Gate 4-2. The preliminary round against Drawlsden was a 2-1 home defeat. 2016-17, a 4-1 def- defeat at Alsegar Town. Moving into when Barton became Barton Town, 2017-18. Extra preliminary round, 4-2 defeat at Kirby Muxlow. 2018-19. Extra preliminary round, 0-0 draw at Clipston, but then in the replay beaten 4-3 at home. 2019-20, extra preliminary round, 3-2 win at home to Carlton Town. In the preliminary round at home to Grantham Town, a 3-1 defeat. 2020-21, 3-1 away win at uh, Spalding United in the extra preliminary round. Then in the preliminary round, 2-0 defeat at Corn. 2021-22 2021-22 extra preliminary round, 3-2 home defeat against Maltby Main. 2022-23 extra preliminary round, 1-1 draw at Bottisford Town, but then at home in the replay, 3-3 draw with Bottisford going through 4-1 on penalties. That's it for this edition of Swans Talk. Thanks for listening.